Oh, good morning, folks. Uh, quick little video today. Um, got a roof clean to do, another roof clean. I'm always cleaning roofs, it seems. Um, yeah, sort of nice straightforward one today. It is practically just the front. Um, most of the back is covered by solar panels. Um, so there's only sort of a bit of the around the edges to do there. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much just the front. I've got to come back. She's having some windows fit tomorrow. So I've got to come back in a few days basically to soft wash it. So I probably won't video that because I won't be long. So just gonna be a scraping video today. I'll, uh, I'll show you the roof now. So yeah, that's what we're working with today. Uh, pretty green, I'll try and zoom in for you there. I will uh, take you up there in a minute so you can have a look. Um, yeah, loads of moss on it. It's actually not been moved into yet. So don't want it all spick and span before they get there. Right. Um, I'll show you what I'll be using today. I've upgraded my ladder setup once again. Um, I was aiming actually to use scaffolding for this job um, and hire a tower out, but it was a very last minute thing. She needs it, needs it scraped anyway before the windows guys come apparently. So um, yeah, I've got the, this upgrade today. A um, bit of extra stability at the bottom of my ladders. They are called a ladder mate. Um, they're about 90 quid. Um, so I'll put a link in the description if anyone's interested in that. Just an extra precaution basically um, makes it even harder if the ladders were to slip backwards. Um, there's more points of contact there. So yeah, little chance of that happening. Um, and also right at the top there, if you can see, I've got a step. I um, can't remember what that's called. I just presume it's called a ladder step or something. Um, just a bit of extra comfort for when you're working on one rung like that. Pop your feet in there. Um, there's not much room, I've got quite big feet. so. Um, it's a tight squeeze, but yeah, just a bit of extra comfort and then obviously my standoff at the top as well um, For even extra safety push me off the gutter line um, As far as gear today same as normal renegade pole. So this is really muddy by the way. Look at my feet. Jesus um, Yeah, so renegade pole a gooseneck on the end so I can turn the angle um, Now this is the tile shape that we're using today. What is this one called again? I've got it the wrong way around Lud Marley Ludlow plus um, is what we're using today. Um, I've got some brand new ones that I was hoping I'd be using, but they don't quite fit um, because it's a different tile. Um, so I've got that that's just going to screw onto my gooseneck for the basic scraping. And then I've put that wire brush extension that I was talking about in the last video um, on its own pole fitting. So now I can basically just swap out whenever needed, save them both being on there at the same time and it being really heavy. Um, I can just swap out whenever needed. So basically I'll scrape a section, pop this thing on, and brush it down, um, yeah, for some extra detailing. Um, so that's it, I'll, uh, I'll set the camera up, I'll take you up there so you can see what the roof's like, and uh, yeah, and I'll get started. Thank you for watching. All right then, folks, so here we are, top of the roof, look at that. You can definitely see better up here, that is uh, completely covered. Um, I do these sorts of tiles all the time, so I do have the crook blade for these, which is nice. It's not one of my new ones, um, unfortunately, but uh, yeah. It'll be fine, right? I'll try and figure out somewhere to set this camera up and uh, so you can see me do the job. I um, hope you enjoy. Hopefully I can get all the scraping done today. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Enjoy. Alright folks, I just thought I'd throw in a little uh, tip here while I'm up here because I know I get a lot of people sort of asking, I'm wondering, am I scraping or are they scraping uh, too much? Are they not scraping enough off? Um, there's always a lot of questions about stuff like that, like how much should you actually be taking off when you're doing the scraping? Should there be literally no moss left on the roof before you buy a side or can you leave a little bit left over? Um, now, something like this, as you can see, that's perfect. Um, you see what hasn't been done and you see what has been done. All the main big chunks are taken off. Now, if you look, there's gonna be some stuff, It's you know, it's stuck on. It's, it, you know, there's no major concern with it. That's what the chemical is gonna be taken care of. Um, so if you're scraping roofs, cleaning roofs without adding a, a, a treatment afterwards, it's not a good idea because it's gonna grow back really quickly. But the good thing about it is if you do offer the treatment, is all of these sort of little bits that sort of get stuck on. You know what I mean? If you were actually to take off, all of that, first of all, you have to be on the roof. Um, I used to do it like that. 
Um, I'd get every single piece off and it would take me two days just to scrape the front of a thing like this, whereas I'll be able to scrape this in a day. Um, and then I was by side in the roof anyway, so there was no point. Um, I was just being too over sort of cautious with it. Um, so as long as the 95% the is off, 90, 95%, little bits like this that are left over, don't worry about it. It's fine, that's what the biocide's for, that's why you're applying the solution to the roof, it's to kill off all the stuff in the gaps. You were never going to get 100% of it off. So stick with a, a decent thorough scrape, but don't spend like hours per section because you don't need to. Um, just get as much off as you can. It's not to be safe, if there's big clumps, get it off. The, the less on the roof, the better, the quicker the, the biocide's going to be getting to work. And the, the quicker the roof will look clean, but you know, do you see what I mean there? It's a difference. You know, that's not, it's not perfect. You know, there's still bits on it, but it's 95% it's gone. So yeah, right, I'll try and set this camera up in a better place now and do some more videoing. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, last little bit of the front, well, apart from that little roof there, but that's that's only small. Um, yeah, I've had to stop videoing uh, time-lapse next to my phone's run out of battery, but it is charging at the moment, so I will be able to video the back probably, um, and maybe this little bit here. But, uh, but yeah, look at that, nice big difference. Um, unfortunately, I should have brought my soft washing gear with me because I would have been able to actually do finish everything today. Um, but oh well, I'm gonna have to come back on Wednesday because I like a numpty, I didn't bring it, and I'm about half an hour away from home, so um, yeah, that'd be an hour trip just to get it, and I'd start losing daylight then, so but, uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. So yeah, it's just gone one o'clock now, so um, yeah, so I really did have plenty of time. Um, my verdict so far, these things, well worth the £90. Pounds. Um, to be honest with you, I haven't actually needed them um, on this job because of the mud, I'm pretty much sinking into it anyway. It's like I'll show you the bottom of my feet again, look at that. It is literally getting everywhere, it's a nightmare. Um, but I can see how well um, they're gonna be used in the future. Um, especially, I mean, the angle of these ladders right now, that's pretty standard. But if they were any further out, those things would be really coming in handy. Um, and I've gotta say, the best purchase was that step up there. That is amazing. Um, usually by now, I've been going for about four hours um yeah usually my my feet are starting to hurt the soles of my feet are a bit aching um because i've been balancing on the one rung um but with that step my feet feel absolutely fine my my calves aren't even aching nothing is aching um so that i think it was literally like 20 quid or something um so yeah well worth it 
So I don't know if you can see, there's the difference. Yeah, coming up lovely. Right then, I'll uh, I'll get this roof finished. I probably won't do much talking. Um, yeah, I'll just get it finished. So thank you for watching everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just, I know it's a little quick one today. Um, yeah, nothing major. So if anyone wants to see anything in particular, just give me a shout and I'll get a video of doing it. If you want sort of a detailed roof cleaning guide or anything like that, um, just give me a shout. I have mentioned equipment and how to do it in the past, but if you want like a full video, then let me know. All right, thanks for watching guys. Cheers. scrape now which is uh brilliant so i will be back in two days so on wednesday i'll be back and i'll be soft washing all of that get that off my screen uh that part there didn't actually need doing um pretty much completely clean so i'll just quickly go over that with some biocide um so yeah i just need to tidy up now and then i'm off home so what time is it 10 to 3 so i started at 9 i believe um about half nine actually so Near enough, sort of around six hours, so um, yeah, not bad going for a roof like this. All right, and thank you for watching, everyone. Um, got any questions or anything about the job, just uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, give the video a like and uh, press the subscribe button if you can. Um, yeah, helps the channel grow. I think I'm nearly at 500 subscribers now, which is wicked, so I need to get to 1,000 um, in like six more months, I think, and then the channel can get monetized or something. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. All right, peace, cheers.